Good morning, everyone. Hope you're well. It's half term, which means for some, homeschooling will be done for a week. Whether that's a, a good or a, a bad thing, I'll let, I'll let you decide that. Uh, as, as most of you probably know, I'm a primary teacher. And so I've, I've been spending, well, I do spend an awful lot of time in front of children and towards my students. And although this is mainly through Zoom at the moment, it's, it's given me some time to think about but the, the pressures and the stresses that kids are under nowadays. I'm, I mean, I, I'm a primary teacher, but I think at secondary school even even more so. And to be honest, I don't really know how how the youth cope and navigate through these these times particularly. But generally, growing up at the moment, it must be it must be tough with the pressures of mainly mainly social media and the fact that every aspect of your life is seen or potentially seen by all of your classmates and all of your your friends and yeah, the pressures that come with that and the anxiety that I imagine that can very easily cause and the pressure that it can put on you it must be really really difficult and, th and then what what that will inevitably do is is force us it's not just the youth it's everyone who's got social media I suppose it'll force us to take more and more time to focus on ourselves and how we want to be perceived by other people and how we want to be viewed and how we want people to see our Facebook or Instagram or whatever it might be. And the, the Bible is really clear on where where our attention should be and where our focus should be and should not be. In Mark 12, verse 30, 30 to 31, it says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. And that's the life that we're, we're called to as, as Christians. Not to pursue how good we can look to our friends or how well we're coping with homeschooling or how good we are at cooking or how good we are at DIY or how much we love our new trainers. We don't need to be showing off about ourselves and trying to elevate our own I don't know our own stature and make ourselves look better and that's that's kind of my encouragement today to all of us to pursue those two things to love God with all your heart and to love your neighbor as yourself and let's try to never lose track of that unfortunately we are in a, in a world that has lost track significantly of that and we're in a world that would suggest to love yourself is the most important thing and that when you love yourself, that's when you'll be happy. And to put yourself first, whether that's in business or any other relationship, everyone would suggest in the world that you've got to be happy for other things to fall into place. And you've got to love yourself first. And that's kind of the what we normally see when we're in, in the world nowadays. But Paul tells us something very different to that in 2 Timothy 3, verse 2 to 5. Although I'm not going to read all the way to 5. It says this, but know this. That in the last days, perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves. In the next verses, the next three verses or so, it goes on to mention about 20 different characteristics that we can expect to see in the last days, all of which I'm pretty sure you'll agree are prevalent today. Um, the commentator Calvin said, but readers should note that lovers of themselves, which comes first, can be regarded as the source from which all the others that f that follow spring. So basically by loving ourselves and seeking ourselves and our own pleasures first, we're giving way for endless sin to take place. A few of the ones that Paul mentions in those verses, to be lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, and despises of good and various other ones. So yeah, today let's focus, let's try to focus ourselves solely on loving God and our neighbour and pray that God will show us the places that we've put ourselves first and that we we need to stop stop doing so. Yeah. Thank you.